<laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. That seemed cooler in my mind. Okay, what's up, guys? I'm doing something a little bit different. A little more relaxed. We're going to be reviewing the new movie, Unplanned. It came out, I guess, like maybe a month ago at this point. So I'm a little late to the party. Um, but it's actually kind of crazy how this movie is actually banned in Canada. So that's where I am. And so you're wondering, how did this guy see this film? There was a private screening of this film where I was able to see it. Um, but it's a pro-life film kind of centered around the life of Abby Johnson. So she's an actual person. They made a movie about her life. And so it kind of highlights a lot of key aspects of her being a the youngest Planned Parenthood director of a clinic and then kind of transforming into somebody that's pro-life. And so I was really going into this movie. I was kind of excited. But I was also a little bit nervous because this issue is important to me. I care about, you know, the truth of abortion being shown to people. And yet, I'm not a big fan of Pure Flix films. I never have. And so, you know, that's just not my cup of tea. Um, I kind of think they're kind of cheesy a lot of the times. And I don't know. So I was a little bit nervous going to the, into this one. And I have to say... There were a lot of problems with this film, but they really did get across in key points, some powerful moments of what abortion is, being murder, right? And showing it actually in a really gruesome way, but a really realistic way. And I think that's part of the reason that it got its R rating is because it is pretty graphic, but it is realistic. So I think that's really important that they did that. Now, to get to the things that I didn't like about this movie. The good things, yeah, it painted abortion as evil. It showed that, yeah, it's not good. It, it is gruesome. It is horrific. Um, not good. So, good job on that. So, there was this really kind of, in my opinion, it was a disgusting um, scene where, you know, they're, she's working. She's the head of Planned Parenthood, this clinic. And, you know, they're closing down for the weekend but they need to get all these abortions done. So what they do is they gather together and they say, guys, we need to team up and do this real quick. It was kind of like this kind of sports movie where everyone's gathering together and there's this big moment where everyone's getting things done and overcomer, if you don't know that song, it's like, I'm not gonna sing any of it cause I'll get copyright claim. But this song plays, this really triumphant song plays while well, they're getting these abortions done. And for me, that just added to the confusion of this film. Another point of confusion was the husband of Abby Johnson. Initially, you find out he is pro-life and he's like, you know what? It's okay. I'm going to marry her anyway. And so throughout the movie, you kind of get this, what I would think would be an interesting dynamic of this person believing that their spouse is actually participating in what is murder. Um, like that would be an interesting dynamic if they played it that way but what they ended up doing was really creating the husband just as a confusing character who doesn't really seem pro-life and at times is disappointed in his wife but at times is like supportive of her job and so it just didn't make sense to me um that was a weird part also there was lots of confusing comedy throughout unlike badly timed comedy and film like this please don't miss time your comedy when dealing with, with such a like a important and tense issue um but there were lots of moments where it seemed really tense and really it's like something was going to happen it was building and then it would be totally interrupted by an untimely piece of comedy that i didn't find particularly funny but that's just my opinion overall i don't want you to get the sense that i hated this movie because i understand and i appreciate this movie because of its shining light on the truth that abortion yes it is murder it is wrong it is horrific um but ultimately i thought this film had some powerful moments um especially near the end and at the beginning but overall i felt kind of confused and there were a lot of things that kept me from really um feeling like this film impacted me in a, in a powerful way because there was just so many weird things especially in regard to like the music and a lot of weird things that were going on comedy was just weird i just did not i didn't like this film i didn't like it and it, it disappoints me because i would love to point people to this film to watch um but i don't think it's a great movie 
maybe it's one of these things where wait a minute it's kind of the only thing that we have and if somebody is mind is changed watching it seeing the truth of abortion i think that's a benefit so i think you know i am i gonna say go see this movie i think you can go see it if you're you know i wouldn't recommend if you're like 12 years old go see it i wouldn't get my 12 year old sister to watch this film because it is it is like really gruesome in some ways in regard to like the abortion and then there's one scene where she has another abortion but it's like a chemical abortion so she goes home with taking these drugs and it goes wrong and that's a really um, powerful scene i think um those those points they did well at they really did well at but there's a lot of the other dialogue stuff that just made it a lot more confusing and i had a hard time really understanding what the film was trying to tell me don't get me wrong i totally believe the message of the film if it is that abortion is wrong and we should stop it um but ultimately i felt like we were getting a little bit confused and off base of what we were really arguing against are we arguing for this idea that Oh, abortion is bad for women and it is bad for women but is that our only jumping off point are we looking at the child that's actually being murdered in the womb I think that's an important and the beginning place that we should be looking at so I know this isn't a movie review channel but I thought it was kind of cool to be able to see this film especially in Canada that it's banned I don't think it should be banned I think that's pretty ridiculous that you would crack down on one particular movie that yeah, it showed the truth of abortion, but dude, those are happening all in Canada with no laws associated with any regulations around them. So I, I think that is pretty ridiculous and pretty evil, to be honest. I didn't love this movie. I appreciated some powerful moments in it. Um, you know, I was disappointed with a lot of things in it, but I would say, yeah, give it a watch if you are able to and um, let me know what you think about the film itself. I know this was different guys, but I hope you kind of enjoyed this film review. I don't think I'll probably be doing this again. Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.